Hello, this is Toll from Try Food Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can transfer materials from one model in your Blender scene to another one fairly easily by using this add-on. It used to be free, but now it's just a dollar. And it's the material uh, pick and paste MPP add-on. I think that's the full name of it. And I'm using Blender 3.4. It's for Blender 3.5 apparently and upwards of the 3.0 series. Uh, I've installed it in 2.9 and it still works fairly fine. Uh, but I'm going to use it in 3.4 at this point in time. Now in Blender before, you can do that easily in Blender. Well, not as easily in Blender uh, because it Blend has its own way of transferring materials. And I'll show you how it's done in Blender without using the add-on. Now we have our cube selected here. Uh, we're going to duplicate our cube or just make another instance of our cube by pressing shift a on our keyboard go up to mesh uh, from the pop-up menu click on cube left click on our move gizmo left click and drag this because they're together here in the same space uh, let's reposition our window and we're going to go into the texture view or ev view of uh, our scene by clicking on this icon right there and now that's set up uh, let's scroll down to the material tab which is right here left click on that click on new with that cube selected and we're going to change the color of this cube to like a reddish color and now it's red now blender the way it does it is you left click on the first object that doesn't have material attached to it hold down shift left click on the cube or model that has a texture or material applied to it Press Control L from the pop-up menu. Click on click on link, link materials, and the material that was on this cube is now on this cube. But with this add-on, it's a lot easier. So I'm going to go to File, New, General, Don't Save, and I'll leave a link of the add-on below this video so you can download yourselves and check it out. Remember, it's just a dollar. And installation still the same. Click on Edit, Preferences. Install, navigate to where you've downloaded it onto your system. Click on install add-on. Make sure you're on the, in the add-ons uh, section of the uh, of the user interface. And I'm going to type in, let me see, MPP. There it is. Material pick and paste. That's what it's called, material pick and paste. And the shortcuts are right here. To pick material that's selected, hold down Shift, Alt, and your middle mouse button and to paste that material to the next model or object hold down control alt middle so let, let's keep that in mind you can change this to wherever you want to change it to but the default ones seem to be the right way to go so shift alt middle is to pick and then control alt middle is to paste so we're going to duplicate our cube again shift a and we're going to click on cube uh, left click on the move icon, left click and drag on the um, Y axis. Let's pivot by holding down, down our middle mouse button and pivoting around with our mouse. And the same as we did before, so let left click on this icon here to change the viewport to EV. And we're going to uh, click on the material tab there, click on new. And we're going to click on our slot there, change this once again to red. And then control was it? It was shift alt middle mouse button pick, control alt middle mouse button paste, and it's that simple. And somebody might say, "Well, it's the same amount of clicks as the other uh, native way of doing it in Blender." But watch this. This is what Blender's native uh, way of doing it can't do. And we're going to press shift again, cube. Move it backwards on the X axis. Shift again, Shift A. Uh, cube again. Left click and drag on the Y axis. If we hold down Control Alt again, middle mouse button, middle mouse button. So it just it keeps that operation they did the first time and it applies it to all the others. If we were to do this in Blender, using Blender's native way of doing it, we would have to. Press Control L every single time we wanted to transfer objects or transfer materials from one object to the next. Uh, but let's test it because I always try to test uh, add-ons to see how far we can take them. 
And we're going to test it by trying to see if it can transfer UV unwrapped materials. All these are not unwrapped. These are just basic, you know, general materials applied to the cubes. And the cubes aren't unwrapped. The challenge is, can it do the same thing with UVs or materials that have been UV unwrapped? I already have a scene set up here. Uh, don't save. I have these firefighters here. Uh, these downloaded material. This guy has material applied to him. This guy doesn't. And let's change our viewport. Let's go make sure we're in, we're in cycles. Left click on that. Cycles, GPU. That's good. Left click there. And I can see that our firefighter here, or a guy who was wearing a firefighter uniform, he has all of this unwrapped. And the same thing with this uh, character also has the same. And the one thing you have to keep in mind, you have to have the same um, UV settings for all the models. Uh, the UV unwrapping for this uh, character has to be the same for this character also. So we're going to see if, make sure that see if this works. So Shift Alt middle mouse button, Control Alt middle mouse button, and it works. So yeah, this is not a bad add-on at all. The Material Pick and Paste add-on works great for unwrapped materials and UV unwrapped. Or sorry about that. UV UVs that have are material that have are models tongue twister. It works on models that are uh, have materials that are not unwrapped, and it works on models that have materials that are UV unwrapped. But re remember, the models that are UV unwrapped have to have the same UV settings. They have to be exactly the same for this to work. But yeah, it works. And that's today's Blender Quick Tip. And before I sign out, um, I just have a bit of an announcement to make uh, this Sunday, which would be, I'm recording this on Wednesday, but uh, this Sunday we're going to premiere our latest animated short called Fellowship on the channel. Uh, it's going to premiere probably around 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'll put up a notice uh, in the community tabs so you guys can actually see it and have it in mind. That way when it comes out, you'll be able to see it and kind of get, you know, take it all in, you know, just have a good uh, movie to watch in the morning on Sunday. Yeah, so we'll be premiering that this Sunday at 10 o'clock in the morning, the movie called Fellowship. Um, and that's Besides that, that's today's quick tip, and I hope you've learned something uh, from this uh, quick tutorial. And once again, I thank you guys who have been watching the tutorials. And remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.